Yo, 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 what's going on at the fight world? It's your boy Money back with another one, fam. And this one here is on two big dogs in this fight game. We have Javante Tank Davis, that killer, that gorilla from Baltimore, the undefeated three-division world champion. He is or could be the face of boxing with Canelo and most definitely the hottest young star in the game at 30 years of age. And Javante Tank Davis, man, is that guy that Devin Haney wants to be and, you know, He'll never make up to it. But Tank, you know, um, feel like Devin don't deserve a rematch. You know what I'm saying? People keep talking about they want to see Ryan Garcia and Javante Tank Davis rematch. Nobody is talking about um, Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia rematching. You feel me? Let's just be realistic, fam. Let's just be realistic. Um, Ryan went out there and whooped on Devin from pillar to post. You know what I'm saying? Put a real bad whooping on him. And um, Devin got to fight his way back. You know? Devin got to fight his way back. That fight wasn't close at all. Nowhere near close. Um, nobody can say that fight was close. People I heard talking about all they had at a draw. That fight was nowhere near a draw. Uh, Ryan Garcia won that fight hands down like 630. Um, whether people want to, you know, get a man that's just doing his credit or not. It don't matter what you want to give him. The truth is the truth. And Ryan Garcia beat the hell out of Devin Haney. And when fights go like that, um, they don't deserve no goddamn uh, rematches right away, bro. You know, not saying I wouldn't like to see it down the line with Devin working his way back. But we all know fights like that is not, you know, rematch worthy. You feel me? People only say they want to see a rematch because they feel like that they are big time Devin Haney fans. And because Devin still got the belt. And I got a video coming on that soon. But nonetheless, when it comes to Javante Tank Davis, that's the rematch people want to see with Ryan and Tank. Because guess what? Ryan fought his way back to put himself in position. Now, when it comes to Tank, man, look. You know Tank don't hold back. He don't hold his tongue or none of that shit. You feel me? Tank seen Devin get his ass kicked up and down, all around, left and right. Nobody can deny that. You feel me? And Tank will tell you himself, man, that dude need to sit down, heal up, right? And then come back and, and get in the ring with somebody like an Adrian Bronner. Then come back and fight somebody with a, with, a, with a name to try to, you know, put himself back in position. Because we all know if there was Javante Tank Davis that lost like that, people would be trying to dog him out, bro. They'll be trying to dog him out. And I don't even want to play the blame game or if this or if that. The facts of the matter is, Javante Tank Davis um, is just all around better than Devin Haney. And he would have never been in that position to be asking for a rematch with Ryan Garcia. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to Devin, I'm not saying Devin still ain't a hell of a fighter. I'm not saying Devin... Still is not skillful as fuck. All I'm saying is, after that loss, right, no rematches wanted. No rematches wanted. All you're hearing is the excuses. That's it. All you're hearing is the excuses talking about the three pounds and Ryan Garcia cheated and Devin Haney running with it. He believing it. He's sitting down at the little, um, wherever they was at, with the cake going, they talking about and still and still and still to try to keep his, you know, his his morale up. But his ego is bruised. He's sitting there with the hoodie on his head, with the glasses on his face, not saying nothing. Normally, Devin would be clapping, jumping for joy, happy as hell. But he's sitting up there not saying nothing because he know damn well he lost that fight. That title don't mean shit to him right now. You feel me? That title don't mean nothing to him right now. And Ryan Garcia don't give a shit about the title neither. Let's be realistic. Ryan don't give two shits about that title. And I'm not mad that he don't give a damn about that title because people keep trying to tell y'all that the belts don't really mean nothing in the sport. These dudes not giving up their money to the sanctioning bodies. That's what it's coming down to. Tank keeping all his money. Ryan keeping all his money. You feel me? 
And then the fans go cry and say, well, they're not chasing legacy. They don't care about legacy. Ryan Garcia has never been a world champion. When has Ryan won a real belt? Well, Ryan beat the shit out of Devin. He got that scalp and got his head on his trophy case. So um, all the belts that Devin got and all the belts that Devin won, Ryan Garcia took that, took that, that, that title from his ass without taking the titles. You feel me? When it comes to Javante Tank Davis, he's a three-division world champion already. Can I say it again? Tank is a three-division world champion already. What do we care about another damn belt? Let's just be realistic. A three-division world champion, the man that everybody want to fight, making all the money, and going on pay-per-view every fight, everybody lined up around the corner, he putting cats on the biggest stage of their career. Why do we give a damn about a belt? And I'm not here saying I don't care about the belts because I'm never going to kill nobody's dreams of becoming world champion. But I'm saying when these dudes hit superstar status, right, when they get on that level of, of pulling in the big bucks and people coming to see them regardless of belts and all that shit, or they get the one about their money, man. They don't give a fuck about no belts or, or, or none of that shit. And I, I don't blame them. I'm not mad at them. I know a lot of y'all saying, well, man, what about the sport? What about the sport, Monty Brown? Y'all not real fans of the sport. Y'all are fans of the fighters. Y'all just like the fighters. Man, look here. Y'all always like the fighters as well. You know what I mean? But when your favorite fighter get the ass kicked, then you want to talk about, y'all don't love the sport. Nobody really love the sport. Y'all not really fans of the sport. Y'all just fans of these weak-ass fighters. Well, your weak-ass fighter got his ass whooped. So what does that make you? Then cats when I always talking about people D-riding, and they doing the same thing for the fighter that they like. Stop being a hypocrite. Please stop being a hypocrite. At the end of the day, man, look. Javante Tank Davis, when you sit back and rewatch this fight, which you probably don't rewatch it, but nonetheless, sit back and rewatch this fight, watching Devin get his ass kicked up and down. He gonna rewatch because, you know, he gonna take pride in watching Devin get his ass kicked and just laughing at him. Just, you know, these fighters be like that. They be competitive like that. And... They talking about a rematch, all this and all that. Man, Tank, like, man, that dude don't deserve no rematch right now, man. Dude better get his head right, get his ego back together, get his pride back to where he can go stand in people's faces and, and, and actually be cool about the situation. You know what I mean? Because it's going to take some time for him to heal up um, mentally and physically. Mentally and physically, it's going to take some time for Devin to heal up and, and get his mind right. And Bill Haney, he just as bruised. You feel me? He just as bruised. I know he cried in the shower. You know what I mean? I don't know about all these other moments about they crying. But I know Bill Haney cried in the shower watching his boy get his ass whooped like that. Dad, Dad, you said I'll never lose, Dad. Dad, you said I'll never lose. Dad, you said I was the one, Dad. What happened, Dad? You said I was the one. And then you didn't console me, Dad. You just left me over there by myself, Dad. You didn't console me. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, man, look. Ain't no rematch coming with Ryan Garcia. Ryan ain't giving him no damn rematch. Ryan taking that dub, and he moving on to bigger and better things, and I don't blame him. Congratulations to Ryan Garcia. Good luck to Devin on the way back. Shots out the tank. Get ready for June the 15th. Shots out the tank. Get ready for June the 15th. You know what I'm saying? June the 15th, everybody. I'm just joking. And get ready for Frank Martin. That's going to be a hell of a fight. Straight like that, and might be on to the next.